Are you having an issue with the knobs on your MIDI controller with the MPC beats? This video is going to give you a couple tips to troubleshoot your knobs and your MPC beats. Check it out! I've seen a comment where people are having issues with their MIDI controller knobs working with MPC beats. Like it once worked, but then all of a sudden doesn't work. Um, I'm going to give you a couple tips, okay? So make sure that you do have your controller plugged in. Okay, now once it is plugged in, what you should do is go ahead and select your program. So make sure you're on your MPC Beats program. Some of the next steps I'm gonna show you is gonna be for whatever MIDI controller that you are using. So go ahead and open MPC Beats. Now once you open MPC Beats, go ahead and just open whatever project you want. I'm just gonna open a basic project. Now once that is open, you can see there's a hamburger menu over here. So if you press that, this is a menu. If you go to edit, and then go to preferences. It's gonna bring up this menu here. Once you have your preferences window open, you can go ahead and select MIDI slash sync. Now at this point, you're gonna see input ports and MPK Mini 3. So the name of your MIDI controller should show up. Now, the first thing you do need to make sure is that this right here where it says control is indeed clicked on. So I'm going to click that. It's gonna highlight that. And you can see in this box, it says enable control to send MIDI from this device to MIDI learn. So that's gonna enable you to send your messages from your knobs to MIDI learn. And once you MIDI learn things, then you can use this device to control things. So that's what control does. You need to have that clicked on. Once that's selected, go ahead and press okay. At this point, test it out. Your controller might work properly. You can see mine is not working properly, but I wanna show you something. If you look over here, it says in, out. So when I turn a knob, I can see right there that it is actually getting MIDI messages. But at this point, even with control turned on, it's still not controlling my Q-Links. So right here at the bottom, there's something that says MIDI learn. All right, you can press the control shift and L or just click it. And when you do that, you need to make sure you're in the global tab and then press enable. Now look down here, all of these are grayed out, but when I click enabled, it turns them on, okay? Now right here, since I am using the MPK Mini 3, I need to make sure that I go to factory and MPK Mini 3. You can select it right there. And once I do that, I should be able to use the Q links, okay? So I'm gonna turn this particular knob on the controller and that's gonna control the program level. Okay, and you can see the program level is indeed changing when I turn that knob. Now say you have a MIDI controller that isn't on this preset list, you can actually make a new one. So if you click here, you can make a new MIDI map. So you could click that, you can make a new MIDI map. And once you do that, you can press learn, and then you would just select whatever you want to learn, whatever uh, parameter you wanna learn. So if I wanted to learn you know, this one here, I can click it and I can turn it. Now you can see as soon as I turn that, it assigns this to whatever knob that I do turn. Now I can select that one here. I can pick this one up here if I wanted, say if I wanted to do a custom one. Okay, and then I could turn that knob. So basically at this point, I can pretty much assign whatever parameters I want from the controller to whatever parameters I have available within NPC Beats. And if they're able to be programmed, they'll be highlighted yellow. You can see all this yellow stuff can be programmed and be triggered by a MIDI controller. Once you're done learning, you click learn off and then you should be good to go. You can see I can actually, you know, control program level with this one. And then this one right here is gonna select the current track. You can see I can go through all eight of my tracks right there. Now, if you're using the MPK Mini 3 or some kind of device that has a preset and you don't wanna go through this whole process, if it's too complicated, you can go up to the hamburger menu, you can go to help, and then you can go right here where it says open startup wizard. Okay, then make sure you have your MIDI device plugged in, go to next. If your device is here, you know, you can select it from the list, select it, go to next, pick advanced, Always pick advanced. I believe in you. All right, and then start making beats. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has been, give it a thumbs up below. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, either myself or somebody that sees those comments can answer them for you. And you know, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. More videos about the MPK, more videos about MPC beats coming up. Peace out.